Welcome back to our channel, Universe Today, where we explore the wonders of the cosmos. In today's video, we delve into the intriguing realm of supermassive black holes and their connection to the evolution of galaxies. Did you know that estimating the masses of these distant cosmic giants is no easy task for astronomers? Stick around as we uncover a groundbreaking proposal by astrophysicist Joseph Simon that could revolutionize how we measure black hole mass. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our cosmic community. Let's get started. Every large galaxy in the nearby universe holds a supermassive black hole at its core. The link between the masses of these black holes and their host galaxies has always fascinated scientists. However, Estimating the masses of supermassive black holes in more distant regions of the cosmos presents a significant challenge. Astronomers often rely on extrapolation from nearby galaxies, but it's not a foolproof way. Today, we explore a groundbreaking idea that could change the game. Joseph Simon, an astrophysicist at the University of Colorado, Boulder, has put forward an innovative model to measure black hole mass more precisely. Simon's model suggests that early black holes might be much larger than previously expected. In a new statement, he highlighted the limitations faced by astronomers when it comes to determining the masses of supermassive black holes in distant galaxies. Joseph Simon, we have really good data for the masses of supermassive black holes in our galaxy and nearby galaxies. However, we lack similar measurements for galaxies placed farther away. We are left with mere guesses. To enhance the accuracy of these estimates, Simon looked to a measurement known as velocity dispersion. This method involves gathering information about the spread of velocities among all the stars gravitationally bound within a galaxy's orbit. The spectra of galaxies provide important data for this analysis. What Simon found is truly remarkable. High redshift galaxies, those located farthest away and in the most distant cosmic eras, appear to harbor significantly larger black holes at their cores than previously thought. Joseph Simon, there has been an idea that these incredibly massive systems would only be seen in the nearby universe. After all, it takes time for black holes to grow. But Simon's results challenge this notion. Joseph Simon, we're starting to see evidence from various sources that the universe has housed massive entities since its early stages. Just this year, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stumbled upon six high redshift galaxies with black hole masses surpassing all predictions. Simon's work is part of a larger project performed by the Nanograv Collaboration, the North American Nanohertz Observatory for Gravitational Waves. Nanograv aims to find evidence of a gravitational wave background, a constant undulation of waves at low frequencies throughout the universe. This background might include waves caused by collisions between supermassive black holes during galaxy mergers. Unfortunately, these events occur on such a grand scale and at such a slower pace that they escape detection by instruments like LIGO which specializes in capturing intense bursts of energy, such as those created by neutron star collisions. Joseph Simon, understanding the masses of black holes is crucial, not only for unraveling the mysteries of the gravitational wave background, but also for comprehending the growth of galaxies and the evolution of our universe. In recent years, Nanograv has made notable progress by studying pulsars rotating neutron stars that emit regular pulses at millisecond intervals. Their pulsar timing array carefully watches for any unexpected changes in the timing of these pulses. Irregularities in their arrival could suggest warping caused by gravitational waves. After more than 12 years of data analysis, Nanograv has found tentative evidence of a gravitational wave background. Furthermore, in June 2023, 
They successfully applied this method to rule out any black hole mergers with a mass exceeding 1 billion solar masses within a range of 300 million light years. Accurate measurements of supermassive black hole masses are crucial to modeling their populations in the early universe, predicting their collisions, and comprehending the resulting gravitational wave background. Joseph Simon's pioneering efforts mark a significant step toward reducing the uncertainty surrounding the masses of distant supermassive black holes. This breakthrough will certainly contribute to more accurate models of early galactic evolution. And there you have it. Joseph Simon's groundbreaking proposal opens up new possibilities for understanding supermassive black holes and their role in shaping our cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding content. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars. This is Universe Today, signing off.